Well, like the song says, Groove is in the heart. What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Yes Model Axel. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Axel in his vehicle mode, in his robot mode on this side. Axel on this side. Axel, Axel, Axel. On the back of the box, you have a picture there of the combined mode things and stuff and things and whatever, and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along here we have yes models axle which is an upscaled knockoff of the uh, make toys version and uh yeah it's very nicely done figure and again you know for a knockoff it's a really really well done knockoff feels good looks good um don't have any complaints really some minor little nitpicks here and there but otherwise a very nicely done figure nicely done knockoff so let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have that smoky transparent plastic there for the headlights, for that windshield. You got some transparent red plastic there for those lights. Got some orange there. Got some nice silver. And some nice details throughout. And the back. And this piece loves to fall off. <laughs> This piece just tabs in right here. The funny thing is, is when I first got this figure, this was really, really tight, and now it's really, really loose. It just kind of loosened itself up. It still holds on, but it doesn't take much for it to fall off either. Like, it just, you know, it, it falls off pretty easily now. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it just kind of loosened up a little too much on me, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, another little problem with mine is this back wheel does not stay together at all. So that's another little a little problem there. Just, that doesn't stay together. That just falls off a little too easily. Um, but yeah. Uh, there is some die cast in him. So he has a little bit of half. Uh, he has a little kickstand. The kickstand is also die cast. So that holds him up. Actually, it doesn't really hold him up because it's funny because the motorcycle actually wants to tip over to the other side all the time. So you kind of have to angle it back a little bit so it can actually lean on the kickstand. But hey, it is what it is. Now, as far as weaponry goes, he does include his gun, which is just done in a dark gray plastic. So you got that going on. It does store on the motorcycle. You just have this tab right here, slot on either side, right there. And you just take it and just tab it in like so. There you go. It's got a big gun on it. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with TFC Toys version of Groove. AKA the Bat Pod. That's what I call it anyway. So you got that. There he is with Combiner Wars Groove. You can see how they scale with one another. And here he is with Yes Models Upscaled Streetwise. So you can see how they look together. And of course, the scale is always going to be off with these combiners. The motorcycle is always going to be bigger than a car, but that's just the way it has to be. Well, there you have that. And yeah, that is basically it for the motorcycle mode. Um, the wheels roll pretty well. It doesn't, it, 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 the, the front wheel rolls a lot better than the back wheel, but yeah, it is what it is. Not perfect, like I said, it has its little problems here and there, but still overall pretty nicely done. But that's pretty much it for the motorcycle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's so, as usual, first we'll go into combined mode and then into robot mode. So remove the gun. Put that off to the side, and we shall get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up front here. You want to take this front wheel and just bring that down. This little section right here is going to slide down, and this bit, well, this bit falls off anyway. Put that off to the side, because you need to take this off anyway. Um, thank you for falling off for me. I appreciate it. Anyway, so uh, this part is, like, really, really locked in well. So it does require a bit of force. You want to take the handlebars here, and you just want to raise them up. And this, you just want to kind of push this down until it unclips itself. There you go. See those little clips just go right in there. So just bring that down like that. Then you want to come down here. You can see the hand folded up under there. And you just want to untab all this and untab this section right here. And just undo all that. Just get that arm out. And just bring that up like that. Pretty much like you're going into robot mode. 
Let's just undo that, undo that, bring that up like that, and then you're going to take these sections right here, and you're just going to bring them straight out like so. Now, once you do that, you're going to come back here, split this entire assembly like that. You're going to take this section right here, and you're going to split this down the middle. You don't have to open it up all the way, just enough, so you can take this bit right here, fold this in, and this tab right here is just going to go right into that groove right there. So you just take that, line all that up, and close it up like that. So you got that done. Uh, these sections right here are on a big double hinge. You just want to take them and swing them all the way down. Like that. And once you do that, this assembly right here will just slide in. Like so. And now, you want to take this piece right here, and this is going to tab in right there. So, just plug that in like that. And now, you want to take this exhaust pipe right here. And it's kind of funny because there's actually a little groove that's made just for that thumb to fit into. See? <laughs> but you just take that and just kind of swing that to the back like that. These little panels here, you can see that little silver bit just kind of goes into that groove there. Just kind of undo that. Just swing that out to the side just to get things out of the way while you get this part done. And bring the hand down. Just rotate it. That's already where it needs to be. So now you want to bring the arms back in, and they're going to tab in right into the sides right here. So just get everything lined up, and make sure everything's in the proper, proper area here. Come on, there we go. Let's line that up, and line that up like that, and there you go. And the arms just tab in right there. And these panels just kind of leave out like that. The front wheel here, you just bring down, bring this down. I think you're supposed to bring the handlebars down too. The instructions are too clear about that, but I think they are down like that. Um, the robot mode head just kind of tucks in there, I think. The instructions are too clear about what to do with the robot mode head, so it's just, just there. And, uh... I believe that is it. Actually, no, that's not it. No, we need one more step here. One more step. You want to take these bits right here, open this up, swing this around, and this will go over this section right here, like that. Bring that around, swing that around like that. And I think we're done now. Are we done now? I think we're done now. Yes, we're done now. Woo, we're done now. And there you go. There's the leg mode there for groove it looks weird but that's the leg belt and the uh these bits right here are going to connect around the actual leg piece there for their defensor and uh yeah that's the leg mode <laughs> doesn't look like much but that's that's the leg mode yay so now let's get down to robot mode so we will start off with the legs here so you just want to undo this bit here you want to untab this section right here like that you want to come here there's this little tab right here you push on this and it will slide that bit out right there make sure you slide that out as far as it'll go and that will allow this armature right here for the leg I have it pushed out all the way this one's a little stiff there we go and that should open up far enough so you can take this and bring that up and once you've done that you just want to line this up again you can see there's little notches in there just line that up and flip out this little bit right here and you have a leg all done Second bus, just like the first, just untab that section right there. You want to push on this tab, which will split that bit right there. And then you can bring the leg up. I did not have it pushed out all the way. Come on, there we go. Just bring that up. Undo that and swing the foot down to this orientation 
And that will just line up again with that groove in there, like that, to hold that in place. And you take this little section right here, flip that up, and that completes the foot. And there we have the legs pretty much done. Now let me raise up a little bit here so we can get down to the upper body. So now we can take the arms and untab them from that panel. If you want to, you can take this white panel and um, plug it back onto the arm. Me personally, I like to just leave it back here. I like to leave it back there. Um, it, it is a bit of necessary parts for me. You can't leave this on in motorcycle mode because it gets in the way of everything and keeps things from lining up. So this you do have to remove from motorcycle mode. So, But for robot mode, I just leave it plugged back there. Because it's kind of a pain in the butt anyway. But anyway, just take the arms. You want to get the head out of the way so you can raise the shoulders up. Raise the shoulders up. Uh, the elbows do actually they have a little locking point in there. You can see they lock in there like that. They kind of thoop and you unthoop them right there. And this one right there, you just unthoop it. There you go. Just unthoop that joint right there. Flip up the kickstand. Flip that up. And then just rotate things so everything is oriented properly. And you got the arms all done. Just come back here. You want to take that wheel and just bring it out to the side like that. Just bring that down as far as it'll go. Bring those handlebars down as far as it'll go. Just compress everything as best you can. So you got that done. Now you're just going to come here to this section and you just want to split it down the middle. And these bits will just swing up like that to form the chest. And then this bit right here just swings all the way around, just tucks it under here. The instructions always have this bit like sticking out like that, but I don't like the way that looks. That just looks wrong and just, just that just looks wrong. So I just bring that down flat against the body. <laughs> looks so much better. But uh, once you have all that done, you just turn his head around and I believe we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Whee! We're done. And they have Axel aka Groove in his robot mode and um, he has a very very weird looking robot mode he definitely does not have the best robot mode design of this group but oh well it is what it is but yeah he just he he, he looks weird he's just kind of a skinny gangly just I, I don't know he just he just looks weird <laughs> Definitely the weirdest figure of this lot, but let's get in close here. Not on his chest, on the noggin. There's the noggin. You do get some nice gold paint there on the face. You got some transclearance plastic there for the visor. You got some nice gold there on the chest. You got the white there. And some silver details that are revealed here in robot mode. You got some details here that are also picked out in paint on the inside of the legs. Got some nice details right in here as well. Some transparent red. You got that smoky transparent plastic there with some gold details behind it. And his weird feet. <laughs> and going up the back here. Again, just a lot of weirdness going on. <laughs> and the wheel and that just kind of hanging out there on his back. Yeah, it's a weird design. Very, very weird design for him. So... There you go. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you get some good wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. The head itself is also on this hinge right here, so you can just look all kinds of down. You can look all kinds of up. Squirrel! You can do that. And, of course, the 160-degree range of rotation. The shoulders are on the ball joint, so you have some forward and backward movement. Can do a full 360. Can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. These panels right here, they're on double hinge. You can pretty much do whatever you want with those. Double jointed elbow. Uh, the wrists are on a ball joint, actually, so you have rotation. You also have some wiggly waggly in there. Um, it does kind of have a waist joint. It's rotation, but it's up here where that, where that transformation uh, joint is. But you have some kind of rotation there. Legs can go forward that far. You can do the high kicks back only that far outward. You can do all kinds of high kicks. Thigh rotation, he does have a double jointed knee, gives him more than 90 degrees of a bend there. 
And the feet can move up a little bit. They can move down a lot. And you do have tiltage right there. He has weird feet. <laughs> he has weird. He has weird a lot of things, but yeah. So there you go. And of course, you can't have him holding his gun. That just plugs right in. He does hold that very securely, extremely securely. There we go. He's got his gun, so he can pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, to his heart's content. So, there you go. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with TFC Toys Groove. As you can see, oh, they scale with one another. Here he is with Combiner Wars Groove. We got that. Here he is with Masterpiece Side Swipe. Just so you can get a sense of scale there. Slight bit taller than Masterpiece Side Swipe. And here he is with his partner Streetwise. As you can see how the team is shaping up. So, there you have that. So there you have Axel. Um, just like their Streetwise, I mean, it's 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 a nicely done knockoff. Um, quality wise, you know, feels just as good as anything official. The plastic just feels nice and solid. Um, you know, I have my little issues with it, like the, the little panel here just doesn't like to stay tabbed in where it's supposed to. Uh, the back wheels don't like to stay together in uh, in motorcycle mode too well. You know, little issues, but all in all, though, um, nicely done figure. He just has a really weird design, but the figure itself is is nicely done. So, there uh, it go. Now I picked this up from TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. For all your other official and third-party Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. You can check out the Knockoff Guardia playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Yes Model Axel, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Protect the bots! Trouble is afoot! What? What are you doing? What? Trouble is afoot? What? What? Who do you think you are? Well, Hotspot's not here yet, so I was trying to be all, you know, leader-like. Yeah, well, you suck. You suck at it. Don't ever do that again. Hey, well, at least I'm trying. Okay, okay, leader. Let's go. Up, up, and away. Whoosh! Okay, now you're just making fun of me. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that at all.